Hello, welcome to Jakim Halal Hub Division. I'm Huda. Today, let me share with you about the Malaysian Halal Certification. Before we move further, let us first look into the history of Jakim. Jakim was first established by the National Council of Malaysian Islamic Affairs with the agreement of the Royal Council. In 1974, for the first time, the Division of Islamic Affairs had issued the first verification letter to validate the halal status of a product. From time to time, changes were made until the current Halal Hub Division was established. Now, we are the one who manage and supervise all the matters pertaining to the Malaysian Halal Certification. Do you know what is Halalan Toyiban? Halalan Toyiban means a company that is undergoing the Halal Certification process needs to comply with the best manufacturing practices, especially in terms of hygiene. Therefore, Halal is not just deterrence from a haram or prohibited substance. It must also be safe, pure and most importantly, it must be clean. Well, that is the basic principle of Halalan Toyiban. Easy, right? Until now, the world halal industry is being valued at 3.2 trillion US dollars and keep on increasing. Therefore, it is proven that there are very high demands for halal products in most countries in the world. For your information, it is not compulsory for any company to apply for the Malaysian halal certification. Well, for what it's worth, it is good to have one, right? There are seven categories in the Malaysian halal certification, which are food, beverages and supplements. Consumables, diners or restaurants, cosmetics, pharmaceuticals, logistics, and also slaughterhouses. The Malaysian government is responsible to spread awareness to the public which includes issuing the guidelines and information pertaining to the Malaysian Halal Certification through our division. There are four main aspects of the Halal Management Scope which are Certification Policy Certification Activities Enforcement Monitoring and also Accreditation and International Recognition For the Certification Policy Aspects the amendment to the policies are made by authorised individuals and also organisations to ensure that it's written according to the current needs. On the other hand, for the halal certification activities, all halal certificate will be issued to the company adheres to the guidelines provided by our division. In addition, we also are doing constant enforcement to ensure that the halal logo is not being abused by the unauthorized company, individuals or organizations. What is more interesting, we are also conducting the halal accreditation together with our affiliates from more than 33 countries around the world. In general, the Malaysian Halal Certification is based on the guidelines stated in the Malaysian Standard MS 1500-2009 and also other Islamic requirements to establish the current Malaysian Halal Certification Standards. Just to highlight, our very own Malaysian Halal Certification is being recognised by more than 63 certification bodies, 16 authorities in 33 countries in the world. That is amazing, right? Not only in Malaysia, together with the Veterinary Service Department, we also conduct halal audit and certification process for slaughterhouses in other countries too. Thank you.
to keep on consistently being competitive in the global market. We have taken several initiatives such as the animation characters of Malaysian Halal Icon as our official media intermediaries, the establishment of Malaysia Halal Analysis Centre MyHack in Banda and Stad Milai, the official Malaysian Halal Portal, as well as the mobile application which allows users to check on the halal status of a product or premises through their smartphones. Convenient, right? For more information on the Malaysian Halal Certification, feel free to contact us through these channels. Well, that's all for now. Until we meet again and thank you for watching. Yakini Halal Malaysia